Hey y'all, I really wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for showering so much of love and blessings on our family and Zain in my past videos. It means so much. This is how my daily routine looks like on most days. In case you are new here, I'm a mom of two. My elder daughter Kaya is seven years old. Son Zain, who is two months old, and our dog Jude is one and a half year old. What is it? What is it? Shall we put? My morning starts around 6 a.m. Kaya has school and the school bus comes at 7.30 sharp. So I need to pack her lunchbox and at the same time look into Zane's need like his feet, changing him, etc. He likes it, see? Because it's black and white patterns, right? He's looking at you, see? He likes it. He didn't realize that like you can see the exact thing. Today I'm making Kaya some corn butter rice, waffles and watermelon for her fruit break. I'm using a ready-made batter for waffles to make my morning easy. Kaya is quite independent these days, so she gets ready on her own most of the time, unless she is in a very bad mood. While I prepare those, Parth helps me in taking care of Zane. He's such a smart one. He knows the warmth of human body and cries as if his whole world has fallen apart if not carried. For the fried rice, I'm not doing much. Kaya likes it this way. I just fried the onions in oil, then added the corn with salt and pepper. Then I will add the cooked rice with a chunk of butter and that's it. I have cut her waffles into pieces so that it's easier for her to eat and I will also add some maple syrup on the top. My morning walks are my favorite time of the day. It's a breath of fresh air from everything including motherhood. I'm sure new moms can relate. Bliss Club has recently sent me a few of their leggings to try on and I'm in love with them. These are high-waisted leggings that tuck your tummy in, especially after childbirth where I am trying to lose some belly fat. These are super helpful to me. I got a couple of them, some of which are ankle length and some that are straight leg and with flares. They are so comfortable and stretchy that I end up spending most of my active day in them. Another plus is that these pants have four pockets which we ladies crave for. I can easily tuck away my phone, keys and other essentials and don't need to carry a separate sling bag for them. Do check out this flare pants and leggings on the Bliss Club website. Links are in the description box below. Also use my coupon code to get a 10% off on your purchase. Alexa, ask Dbot to start cleaning. Okay. Now your D-Bot is cleaning.
I'm making a quick bread omelet for breakfast today before Zane's next activity comes up. It's a typical bread omelet recipe wherein I have put one egg with chopped onions, green chilli, salt and pepper and I will add that to the pan and add two slices of bread on top side by side. I will also add few slices of tomato and a slice of cheese on top. I usually don't drink anything with my breakfast. I'm a no beverage person whereas Parth is just the opposite. He can drink tea or coffee the whole day. But today I really wanted to have coffee for a change. For those who are breastfeeding, it's safe to drink a cup of coffee a day. Time for Jute's breakfast too. He has been in love with chapatis these days. He generally has one roti, one boiled egg and some boiled veggies like carrots, peas, broccoli or curd. Clearing the dishwasher is the next thing I do. I have a love-hate relationship with my daily routine. If I don't follow a routine, I get cranky and if I do, I get irritated with the monotonous everyday tasks. Parth loads the dishwasher with the utensils from breakfast while I put Zain for his first morning nap. This is the time I usually try to finish up some household chores. Today I wanted to change the bedding in our bedroom. These days the sheets get dirty so fast because of all night feeds etc. I also wanted to make some space in Kaya's cabinet for Zane's clothes since he's growing instead of buying another storage. Kaya has also outgrown some clothes. A lot of you ask me what do I do with Kaya's old clothes. I give them either to family or to my house help or society's housekeeping ladies.
I'm basically trying to squeeze in all her clothes in one side of the cabinet and I will keep the right side cabinet of her room for Zane. The window seat cushion in Kaya's room has gone through so much for the past one year. I decided to wash it today. I will soak it overnight in a bucket with some laundry detergent, borax and vinegar. Laundry that's dried and it's time to put it away. I hate to do laundry. I feel like one load goes in and another comes out to be dried and put away again. It's like a wheel of a cycle. There's no end to it. Another big task today was organizing Zane's clothes drawer. He has outgrown some clothes and generally the drawer was so messy. I was basically just throwing everything in since past two months. Life was just crazy. I'm keeping Zane's clothes tucked away safely, not sure why. I don't feel like giving them away right now. I also washed Kaya's skate guards. This gets so smelly due to sweat. The other day I told her, Kaya, your skate smells so bad and she was like, I know, right? I just felt like puking during my skating class and I laughed at it so much. <laughs> I also washed her shoes in the washing machine. Some of you mentioned that I could wash the shoes in the washing machine and that's what I have been doing ever since. It's super convenient and especially with kids shoes which get dirty in no time. The window seat cushion cover is also washed well. All done with today's chore and I need to rush to make lunch after I shower and pray. Today for lunch I'm going to make parval alu sabzi, mixed dal and soya chili gravy. I know sounds a little weird right? There's a story behind it. I have been going to motherhood for all my pregnancy delivery and for Zane's checkups too. So they have a cafeteria on the terrace and they serve South Indian thali. So there was one day when they served some sabzi rasam and this soya chili with rice. I'm not sure what allured me about it. I just loved the food and so I decided to make it today.
For the pointed gourd sabzi, I will add some methi seeds to the oil, then add the gourd and potato chunks. I will fry them for a while, then add salt and haldi. Then I will add masala like jeera and coriander powder and chopped tomatoes. If you prefer, you can also add tomato paste that will make the gravy thick. For the soya chili, I will fry the boiled soya chunks for a while, then I will add the chopped onions and capsicum. In a bowl, I will add in the sauces like soya sauce, vinegar, ketchup and chili sauce. Then I will add that to the karai along with soya chunks. At this point, I will also add corn flour to thicken the gravy. Here I am giving tadka to the boiled mixed dal with patch foron, dry red chilies, chopped onions and tomatoes along with salt, turmeric and red chilli powder. I will also make a quick salad with cucumber, tomato, grated carrot and salt. Jude is a very picky eater, even more than Kaya. It's apparently a common trait in Shih Tzu's. Hmm? Huh? Go! Eat your food. Go eat Jude. your food. Jude. Otherwise, no food, food finish. Go! Why did you show Nakra? Jude? Kaya comes home around 4, Parth or me we go to pick her up from the bus stop and then I like a superwoman try to feed her and get her ready for her skating or taekwondo classes that she goes every day. She basically eats whatever is cooked the day for lunch. Meanwhile, around 5.30 or so, I just feel so hungry. Kept. Did you save it? There are days when I don't make anything and just eat some ready-made snacks. This is a recipe I saw on Pinterest and it looked so tempting.
It's a vegetable pancake that I'm going to make with shredded cabbage, spring onions, carrots and green chilies. To the mix, I will add one beaten egg, some salt and pepper. If you are a vegetarian, you can skip the egg. You can also add some spices like jeera, red chilli powder or garam masala. For binding, you can either add atta or maida. For dinner, I'm making spaghetti, stir-fried broccoli and mushroom. It's been so so long that we had something nice at home and while I prepare dinner, Zain is relaxing with parts. And here's a small snippet of the reality behind my videos. Parth is shooting while carrying Zain. In a pan, I will add some oil, then add chopped garlic, mushrooms and broccoli with a spoon of soy sauce. Then in the same pan, I will add some olive oil, to that I will add a lot of garlic and fresh red chilies. then I will add the boiled spaghetti. This one is for Kaya. Though we had plans to eat our fancy dinner peacefully, but life always doesn't go as planned. For now, that's so true for us. The days are just blur for us these days and when I hit the bed, I feel like I have passed out. And I think to myself, it's just a phase and it will pass too.
It's the next day and the cushion cover have dried well. I'm going to put it back and clean the window seat and the window rails. To clean your rails, you can use a chopstick and cloth rag. I'm using a wet tissue. The window glass also got dirty over time. Parth is cleaning it with some choline. I also wanted to show you how clean the cushion looks. The mixture of borax and vinegar works. Though this is very short lived, it is going to be the same in no time. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you with a new video very soon. Bye.